important targets and objectives nationally and regionally must be on the improvement of the quality of lives, living standards, and livelihoods of our people, the happiness, security, and general welfare of our populations. Clearly, nothing else is as important. Now we have our strategy documents, but we are in a race against time. We are locked in a mortal battle with difficult local and global macroeconomic and fiscal circumstances, even as states, regions face deadly civil conflicts and terrorism. Our continent, which is the youngest, and growing at double the rate of the rest of the world, and the youngest country, Niger, is in our sub-region. It's been a long day, and we've been talking the talk as usual, but for our very nation, when are we going to start to walk the talk? We are very far from reality on our various communities and streets. So let us look at our ecosystem within the confines of our country. How well, even we that are here practically are helping what is called human capital development. We are very used to giving handouts, teaching people how to fish. It should be what is very paramount to our their lives and every day-to-day -day activities. We are committed to this agenda. In Nigeria itself, I think of our uh, close to 14 billion uh, program of support that we're providing uh, in support of government programs, I would say almost 40% is in this area. Primary health care, keeping girls and children in school, uh, social assistance, water and sanitation. So that is a sign of our commitment and also the importance of human capital. The state is a little free, so we have a picture with all of the royal Highnesses and is here present, please. Thank you.